We're at International Armoured Vehicles 2018 and I'm speaking to Simon Wilkins, Business Development Director, Timony Technology. Simon, uh, Timony is probably not a name that many people outside of the industry would be familiar with, despite the company celebrating its 50th year last year. Could you tell those watching this a little bit about Timony, it, its beginnings, its development, where the company is now and, and perhaps where you think the company might be heading in the near future? Absolutely. I mean, um, the company was established, like you say, 50 years ago, 1967, um, as a campus company, actually at the National University in Dublin. Uh, Seamus Timony was a professor of engineering at the university, uh, formerly in the 1950s, an engineer at Alvis, um, funnily enough, the same as myself, that's where my origins are. Um, early years of the company working on development of high output diesel engines, mainly funded by uh, US oil companies, U US oil money. I suppose a bit of a watershed for us in the early 1970s, the first oil crisis, a lot of development funding dried up overnight. The situation in Ireland at the time was uh, quite different to what it is today. There was a requirement for armoured vehicles for the Irish Defence Forces um, and that led the business into, uh, I suppose, a different direction that we've continued to pursue since. So uh, through the 1970s we developed armoured vehicles, 4x4s, um, uh, that could withstand small arms fire, work in an urban environment. Uh, we supplied them to the Irish Defence Forces. Since then we've used um, independent suspension technology, a similar kind of thing to what you see on the on the image behind us here for fire trucks we supplied them into US Air Force we've supplied them into commercial trucks um, and over the years we've done a lot of work with uh, with armored vehicle development um, we still still do that today and and if you had to put a figure on maybe Timony's independent suspension sets that may have been manufactured even if they're licensed uh, would you be able to do that and would you be able to put a figure on the number of armoured vehicles that might be out there around the world that that Timony's finger has been in the developmental pie? That's a very good question maybe not a straightforward one to answer but um I did actually take a look at this due to our 50th anniversary last year and we, we did get asked on some statistics. Now roughly speaking, um, I think over, over that period we've probably been responsible for at least over 100 vehicle types being developed, um, actual specific models over with, with many different manufacturers. In terms of axle systems, it's a little bit more difficult to specify because the way that our product gets taken to market um, is through strategic relationships with manufacturing partners licensees but to speculate I would say there's possibly 30,000 units in service. Um, we do independent suspension axles, we do transfer cases, we do steering systems so I, I think somewhere in that order of magnitude would probably be an accurate um, kind of order of magnitude. And as for Timony today, the company's based in Ireland, um, do, do you just development, do you, do you develop manufacture or? Well, our, our business, um, I, I suppose due to our location, we, we're, um, I, I suppose from a, a world market perspective, we, we're probably a little bit unusual, uh, quite unique in terms of the way our business is structured. Ireland is not an industrialised country. Um, so we don't have the ecosystem and the supplier network and um, all the things that um, OEMs uh, would have on their doorstep to, that they need to, to make them successful. So our business is based around uh, technology creation for technology transfer. So our team in Ireland is, uh, is quite compact, quite small. We have 35 people. We're engineering focused, engineering dominated. Um, and our ethos is to be creative, come up with solutions, with novel ideas and then to find ways to transfer the technology into territories where our partners or our customers can take them to market and and that um, we, we I suppose the the product that would be most synonymous with with Timony is probably double wishbone independent suspension um, if you go and ask people what uh, people who know Timony what do Timony do that would probably be the thing that comes up more frequently but the reality is we design complete vehicles um, and our, our, our team is capable 
capable of uh, developing very complex vehicles. Again, the image that we have be behind us is a great example, an 8x8 AFE involving power pack, chassis system, drive line, all the automotive systems. We have the capability in, in uh, developing a prototype in what I, I, be, I, I confidently say um, a quicker timeline than, uh, than anybody else that I'm aware of in the industry. I mean, we, we, we can certainly well less than 12 months we can have a prototype mobilized um, if pushed maybe a little more than six months. So uh, um, we do things very, very um, rapid timeline uh, that are quite complex and quite challenging. And, and if you have the need for, for production, um, ca can you produce in Ireland or, or do, you, do you go elsewhere? Do you have a partner of choice? Um, from our driveline systems, absolutely. I mean, um, we have licenses. Uh, we're very important to our business. Uh, Textilis in France uh, are a very key strategic partner. They are producing uh, Timney Design driveline systems under license and they also uh, offer a direct route to market and they, they market them as uh, in parallel to us on, on our behalf. Off, so that they're a very important partner of ours. Uh, and while obviously a lot of your customers, perhaps we should say, maybe a little bit uh, publicity shy, uh, are, are there any current requirements, any current contracts, any any current systems that, that you are working on that you are happy to disclose? Um, well, I mean, there are there are certain uh, programs that it's 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 known in the public domain. I mean, a very important um, customer of ours has been for many years as, as SDK in Singapore, and we are um, waiting um, with bated breath, hopefully, in support of them for their efforts in um, the U.S. Marine Corps ACV program uh, this year, along with SAIC. So that's that's for for us as a second tier supplier supporting their efforts. Um, that's a very important milestone for us this year and a very important program.